part of their civics lesson, eighth grade students in Mason Fitch's class spent part of their class time at Neil Blaisdell Park in IAEA. Um, so first of all, Fitch, who teaches U.S. history at IAEA Intermediate School, came up with the outdoor classroom idea to teach his students about community service and how city government works. We spent a whole weekend in downtown L.A. with uh, a homeless mission. And uh, what we did was have the opportunity to see what, you know, how the homeless live, number one, and also to see that homeless people are really, really people. They have the same needs as you and me. They're as diverse and as different as you and I in the community. Uh, you, you have people who used to be doctors, you have people who used to be teachers. We have masters and PhDs. Several city departments took part in the program. They're meeting with um, departments that are associated with an issue that they've been researching for the past week. Uh, when we go back to school, they'll um, be making projects based on this, their issues. So they're using the city as a resource for information. The reason why we're lucky to have Cap Rock on our island is because we're one of the older islands. Fitch's curriculum, our community, our responsibility, and why we serve will be taught at other schools. It teaches students about their civic duties and how they can help solve community problems. What's going to happen to the grass in the weekend? It's not going to get watered and it's, I heard it, it's going to die, right? And it's going to turn what? Brown. Brown. Because it's killing the plants. Because inside of that, there's all kind of yucky stuff and it's killing the plants. So I want you to keep that in mind when we're doing our activities. The plan is to use the curriculum that we developed for this and like the, the structures that we developed for this and take it to other schools that are along the bike path um, so that the process can be replicated and we can get even more students involved in the process. Guys like Mason, Fitch, and the rest of your teachers here teach you to learn things, to become a more educated person, to be involved in your community, and to make a difference and help yourself. So suck up that education. Suck it up. Learn all you can, and then go out and make a big difference. You are today, and you're going to continue to do that. So I'm proud to be here with Council Member Breen Harimoto. I'm proud to be here with your teachers, and I'm proud to be here with you right in smack dab in the middle of Honolulu, in beautiful Aiea, where you're going to fix up this park. <coughs> and when you come back here someday as an adult, maybe with your children, and you ride a bike all the way into town, you can say I had something to do with this. So be proud of what you're doing. I sure am. This is great. We have all the city departments here to talk with the students about what they do in, in government. Um, and we're really excited to end this day with a cleanup of the Pearl Harbor bike path so the students can understand part of civic responsibility is taking ownership of their own community. Harimoto says the bike path is nearly 19 miles long and starts at Pearl Harbor and goes all the way out to Nanakuli. It's a long path and we're trying to um, in enhance the path. Right now, a lot of it is littered, it's overgrown, um, there's drug dealings, there's um, you know homeless, and people tell us that they're afraid to come to the bike path now. So what we're trying to do now is enhance it so people feel safe and comfortable to come back to the bike path. This is your home. This is your community. And you need to invest in your community. If you invest in this community, it will be your home forever. Okay, it's what you put in to this community. So you guys coming out and working on this shoreline, it's important because you can use it later. You can bring your families later. It's a great place to be. So I want to encourage you and thank you for coming out and helping us work here and take pride in your community. The cleanup is just one in a series of events to help relaunch the community vision of the Pearl Harbor Historic Trail.